Have you ever wondered where that gooey substance in your ears comes from? In this video, we will uncover the many secrets of earwax, including where it comes from, its purpose and function, why it sometimes has a strange odor, and various tips and tricks for its safe removal. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave us a comment. We would love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Earwax, also known as cerumen, is a naturally occurring substance that is produced by the ceruminous glands, specialized sweat glands, in the outer portion of the ear canal. Earwax is not actually made of wax, but is composed of a combination of secretions, including a mixture of oils, sweat, and dead skin cells. There are two main types of earwax, wet and dry. Wet earwax is darker and stickier due to a higher lipid, fat content. Dry earwax is drier, lighter in color, and more flaky in texture. Genetics largely determine which type of earwax an individual has, and interestingly, the prevalence of each type can vary among different populations and ethnicities. One of the primary functions of earwax is to protect the delicate structures of the ear, particularly the eardrum and the sensitive inner ear components. Earwax works at both the microscopic and macroscopic levels to protect the ear. On a microscopic level, the components of earwax, including its sticky consistency, can capture tiny particles and prevent them from traveling deeper into the ear canal. On a macroscopic level, earwax acts as a physical barrier, trapping larger particles such as dust, dirt, and even insects before they can reach deeper into the ear and potentially cause harm. Have you ever noticed that your earwax has a very distinct smell? Well, the odor of earwax is primarily attributed to the breakdown of certain fats and oils. These fats and oils interact with bacteria that naturally inhabit the ear canal. As bacteria break down the lipids in the earwax, they produce byproducts that can have a mild odor. This is similar to how the combination of sweat and bacteria on the skin can result in body odor. It's important to note that a slight odor is generally considered normal and is not necessarily a cause for concern. However, if you notice a strong, foul, or unusual odor coming from your ear, it could be a sign of an underlying issue such as an infection or an impacted earwax blockage. Did you know that our ears have a self-regulating cleaning mechanism driven by the movement of the jaw while talking, chewing, and other jaw-related motions? This movement helps to push old earwax from the ear canal toward the opening, where it dries up, flakes off, and eventually falls out. This process helps to prevent the accumulation of excessive earwax that could lead to blockages. Although earwax generally doesn't impact hearing, a buildup of excessive earwax can sometimes cause temporary hearing loss or discomfort. This occurs when the ear canal becomes partially blocked by accumulated wax. While it's generally best to let your ears clean themselves, there are times when intervention may be necessary. Safely removing earwax is important to avoid pushing it further into the ear canal or causing damage to the delicate structures of the ear. There are a variety of earwax removal techniques that are generally considered to be safe. In many cases, the ear's self-cleaning mechanism will naturally expel excess earwax, and you can simply let the earwax come out on its own. Gently washing the external ear with warm water can help soften and dislodge earwax from the outer ear. Over-the-counter eardrops can also be used to soften earwax, making it easier to naturally come out over time. Ear irrigation involves using a bulb syringe or a special ear irrigation kit to gently flush warm water into the ear canal. This can also help remove loosened earwax. Despite what many people think, using cotton swabs or sharp objects to clean your ears can be potentially harmful. Inserting these items into the delicate and curved ear canal risks pushing earwax deeper, potentially causing impacted earwax, discomfort, hearing loss, and infection risk. Further, the thin eardrum, which separates the outer and middle ear, is at risk of accidental damage from inserted objects, resulting in complications such as hearing loss. Additionally, these practices can disrupt the ear's natural cleaning process, and they raise the chance of introducing harmful bacteria, potentially leading to ear infections. If you're experiencing serious discomfort, hearing loss, or suspect an earwax blockage, it's best to consult a medical professional. A doctor such as an ear, nose, and throat specialist can safely remove excessive earwax using specialized tools and techniques such as suction. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. See you in the next video.